Hey everyone, this is Dylan here, and today I'm going to go over a procedure for doing a wet mount. So the first step of doing a wet mount is going to be uh, taking your slide and uh, adding a drop of water to it. You're then going to take a colony of your organism from the plate and mix that thoroughly within the water, then add your cover slip to the slide, and then you view that underneath the microscope, generally with the 40 times objective lens. And the main reason for doing that, that we still use in the lab, um, is going to be to assess to see if the organism is yeast or, um, or bacteria. So sometimes you can't tell uh, based on the growth of the colony if it's yeast or bacteria. Other times it's quite obvious. For example, if you see uh, legs, that's indicative of um, Candida albicans on, on the plate. But if you're not sure and you have the, you know, you're doing a culture where you need to rule out fungi, for example, if you're doing a fungal culture, uh, you need to see if there's... Um, yeast on the plate. I'll see if there's mold on the plate. It's very obvious. You don't need to do a wet mount. So yeah, uh, yeast will have a very distinct appearance and you can tell straight away when you look, look at it underneath the microscope and uh, bacteria as well. You're going to know straight away. So, you know, it's just kind of confirmatory if you're not sure on the plate, but as you get more accustomed to, generally you can tell on the plate if it's yeast or bacteria. So that's the main reason we used we use uh, the wet mount still today. So yeah, uh, thanks for watching and I hope you know more about doing the procedure and I'll see you next time.